This is a lot right now, bro. Cause like, what's going on? Black Lions. Just say, I'm wrong like that. Guys, it's the girl sitting back with another video. Bro, so let me tell y'all the quick background story before we get into the video because y'all see the title. So I don't gotta explain that much. I was over here trying to edit, and when I be editing, I like to watch like videos or whatever and whatnot. And I just seen Easy X Natalie video. And I'm like, bro, is this video really real for real? I have to react to this. No Rocky, like I'm not playing no games because what's going on? I can't wait to watch this. I have to watch it right now. So we finna get into this video and you know we finna react. But before we get into it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more of my videos. Guys, please be sure to click that button, the subscribe button that's right there at the bottom. You know, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you a little time. Oh yeah. Will you cut that up? Click the button. That should have been enough time for you to click the button. But yeah, guys, just come on, just click it. If you didn't click it already, wait till the end of the video. See what you, you know, like and go back and click it. Either or. But yeah, y'all. This video, I'm nervous. Like, if this is real, like, what's going on right now? Like, that's all I have to say. Like, what's going on? I don't even want to talk too much. We about to get into it. So without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, guys. Here we go. Natalie, wake up. Baby, you gotta wake oh, up. Oh, heck no, bro. Oh, outside of the hospital right now. Hey, Natalie just passed out. I'm fucking scared. Cause like, what's going on? That's all I had seen y'all was the beginning. That little snippet. Definitely one of the most dramatic experiences I've ever had. What happened? Well, clearly she's fine now. How do you not be scared when you see your girlfriend's eyes rolling to the back of her head? Pretty much what happened, uh, Natalie, was just coming home from getting her wisdom teeth removed. Oh. So once we got home, Natalie has already taken her pain medicines to numb the pain or whatever. So she had been sleeping the whole entire car ride. But when it was time to get out of the car, like I grabbed everything from the car and I made my way to the house. And then I just hear Natalie like, kind of like yelling my name, like. Hey. Hey. Uh. What the heck? I was like, okay, here I'm coming. And I like literally set all the stuff that I had down in the house and I ran back to her to see what was going on and she just said she just wasn't feeling good. As you can see, like she's just walking, like kind of like woozy. And I'm just thinking like, okay, she's off her medicine. Of course, she's got too much of it. But then that's when the first like moment happened of her passing out. But it was just like so quick, I just thought she was dizzy, you know? So I was like, okay, baby, we gotta get you to the house. We gotta get you to the bed. And as we're walking, like, her legs are dragging, like, on oh, the ground. Wow. I'm like, come on, baby. Like, you know, I'm not thinking nothing of it. She just got her wisdom teeth removed. I had no control over my body. It wasn't scary until the second time she passed out. And at that moment, it was just like, she just dropped. Oh, fell to the ground. No. And when she dropped, her head hits the wall. And I'm just like, oh my God. When she gets up, I'm like, you baby just passed oh out. My. And she was like, what? This is a lot right now. Like, oh, this is a lot. Like, what's going on? Is she okay? Was it the medicine that did this? I ain't never heard of somebody passing out when they just got their wisdom teeth removed. Is that a. Y'all, like, what's going on? Really? So when I stood her up, I was like, okay, I'm about to try to carry her. But I could not carry her because her weight, she was so heavy. So I was like, okay, if I stand her up, 
I can carry her, like lift her up like this, because I couldn't get her off from the ground. So she was helping me like stand, help herself stand up. Once she got up off the ground, that's when I was like, all right, like we gotta make it to the door. You know what I'm saying? And she's just like, I feel weird, I feel weird. And, and I didn't know what was happening. Like I didn't know that, like, I didn't know, I didn't know if I was dying. Like I didn't know what was happening to me. And I just remember thinking like, uh, it just felt like there were like weird lapses like and like I'd be looking at her and then all of a sudden like it would seem like there would be a lapse and I would look at her again and then I'd be like am I okay like and she was just like no you just keep passing out like oh wow she's tough because after that one uh she mm -hmm. this one was like different I thought she was okay because mm -hmm. you know like she was talking to me we not gonna cry we tease about because that was the the moment it was like i was just scared out of my life and she just dropped again and i'm just like at this point i'm screaming for her like natalie natalie she's not waking up and i'm just like oh my god i grab her head and i'm shaking her i'm screaming her name like natalie wake she's up, not please. natalie wake up and then she's not waking up so i like start hitting the back of her like trying to get her some air i don't know what to do this never happened before so i'm like hitting the back of her um on her back trying to get her some air then i'm just like okay i don't know what to do i whoa because this is a lot so me watching this i'm thinking like what is the correct like what do you do when somebody passes out is there like get them some water let them wake up what do you do when somebody faints Cause that be my initial thing, like get them, get them something to drink or something like that. She ain't waking up right now. She couldn't even drink water. I probably, I feel like even putting water on her face probably wasn't gonna help. At that point, you just call nine one one. I don't know, y'all. This, 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 this a lot. This is a lot. You know, I'm about to call nine one one, but I'm like, what if in this moment, like I could do something? How waste that moment to call the police? So I pull my phone out, about to call him, but I'm just like, she's still not waking up. So I dropped the phone and I'm just shaking her. And I'm like, Natalie, please, not, wake up, bro. wake up. I scream so loud. I know for sure the neighbors hear it. And I'm just like, bro, I can't lose my baby. It was so fucking terrible. I could imagine. Um, in that moment, I'm just screaming. I could imagine that like somebody, watching anybody faint, you, in that moment, you don't know what's wrong with them. In this, in, in this instance, she keeps on fainting, and in the final time she faints, you trying to wake her up, and she's not waking up, bro. I'm pretty sure this. I'm pretty sure Easy had too many thoughts going through her head. Like she don't know what's going on. She don't know what to think. She don't know if she's okay. If she gonna wake up. She gonna be in the coma. She don't know anything. That's probably trying. That's probably really scary. I can imagine. I can imagine that being really scary. And she finally wakes up and I'm just like baby like I, I'm literally in that moment of just like what the fuck but I just snap out of it so fucking quick because I don't panic. Want to panic you know so I lift her up and then like move her to her butt because she was like laying so flat mm, on her, yeah. like, her ankles so I was just like dang okay let's sit you down and then I call 911 me and they're telling me to lay her down get her a pillow proper legs up and all that and it was raining out and stuff at the same time and like but as soon as she laid me down like i felt so okay. much better like it was honestly oh my god i can only imagine like how she felt actually being alert witnessing it and stuff because for me like i was so she didn't know what was up, going on. like off of you know the sedatives and stuff like that that they gave me but it was still like pretty scary you know like it was really scary because i didn't know what was happening i didn't know heck no nah, y'all why like i couldn't move why why they gotta like, add this music you know, in there bro it was, it was it, i don't know how to explain it it was just the craziest thing ever i felt so helpless like i'm watching my girlfriend's eyes roll to the back of her head like even though i was so scared i couldn't even panic you know what I'm saying? Because I knew I just had to be strong. But those were the emotions that I just felt. And it was just like, all right, I can't be emotional. I got to just do this. You know what I'm saying? Then once the ambulance and stuff got there, um, I felt like, fuck. What's your name? Natalie. Okay, Natalie. so she's kind of awake right now. And you know the month? Okay, January. Okay, good. When did you have your wisdom teeth pulled out? Today. 
today? Any like dizziness that you're feeling? Any fever? Well, I don't feel fever, but like just now when I was standing up to try to walk to the house, because we're just getting back to the, the bad fitness, and I just stood up and I felt, I just felt like so weak. dizzy weak. Yeah, weak and dizzy. She's out times three. Okay. And then basically, I don't know, she said I passed out. She passed out like four times. Okay, you have a driver's license? Yeah. Really, uh, literally walking in and she passed out. Do you know how long? Did you help her down? This is yeah, crazy. Yeah, but, well, she kind of got by herself. Bro. So okay. it's like, I caught her. Don't get you right. Yeah, a couple hours ago. A couple hours ago. Yeah. Have you ever taken that medication before? No. no. I can show you guys the medication. Telling you, you gotta be knowing what you put it in your body. That's very crucial. That happened to my sister actually. Um, she went to the doctor, I think, and they they gave her a shot for something that her body did not react too well to, and she completely fainted and and everything. Had to go to the hospital and everything. So, I mean, sometimes you don't really know until after you take the medicine, which is why it'd be scary to take medicine nowadays because you don't know what's gonna affect your body, what's gonna make you be okay, but you just gotta know, man. You gotta try to be ahead of the game. I don't know how. I don't know how. You just gotta try to. It was a better, um, it was a Tylenol and a, um, something with an M. Did you fall your head at all? Oh, she hit her head on the back of that wall, and then I caught her. And when she, um, when she went down to the ground, were you able to get, kind of wake her up? Or was she, no, it took a, it took, it took like a at least ten seconds to wake her up. And does it never happen to people? No, I never. I don't know if she took the wrong medicine, because there's like four pills. So. Okay. Maybe throwing up any blood? No, but so much blood. Yeah, okay. No. Do I need help? Okay. And everything got super real for me once I seen them rolling her out and putting her in the actual ambulance. And I just sat there looking like, what the fuck? This just happened. Whoever edited this though, <laughs> clap it up to you. You did an amazing job with this. I feel like I'm watching low key like a documentary type. <laughs> you did an amazing job, whoever did this, bravo. Are you guys giving her an IV? Bro, I imagine how her family gonna feel when they hear this. They gonna be like, bro, what? Natalie? Because she's super healthy. Alright, moving. Natalie felt like she was going to pass out again, so they gave her a IV. Mm. Through the front over okay. there and just check in. Okay. And then they're probably not sure they're masking. Okay. You okay? Did they give you anything? Okay. Alright. 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 My girlfriend just came in out already. See? Okay, so you're just gonna have to wait until she gets to bed and then we'll let you know and ask the nurse to get out to get you. Uh, you're gonna have to wait like 45 minutes. She's right there. Yeah, unfortunately, no one could be there um, until she gets to bed. Once she gets to bed, we'll ask the nurse and then see if you're allowed to stay with her. Oh, family. but I'll roll with her. Maybe, like, I don't want to leave it. Yeah, but you need to be in the back for dinner, so. I'm outside minutes. of the hospital right now. Yeah, we all are now. Like, yeah, we're all outside of the hospital right now. Hi, honey, I'm here. I'm here, baby. Thanks, Mom. How you feeling, sweetheart? I feel so much better. Oh, thank goodness. Listen, I know you didn't want me to leave, Nat, but we could have done it an easier way. I know, right? Oh, I love you. I you like oh. that. It's okay. I'm just glad. I'm just glad you're feeling better and looking at your face. Baby, it's so sad right now. Stop been in the hospital music, for please. about like two hours probably. And everybody's here now. My mom was supposed to be on her flight and she rushed over here to be oh. with me. And like, missed her flight. My brother's here and Easy's outside. My sister's here. Everyone's outside waiting though. They won't let anyone in except for my mom. At least you got mommy to be okay. I'm happy to be healthy and 
told Easy apparently after you passed out for the hundredth time to go grab the camera. Yeah, you better get this content. Look who just came out the emergency. I made it. I made, made it out. I'm with my girlfriend. Give me a kiss, bibs. You did so good, babe. Thank you so much. That was crazy. I'm just glad you're safe. How are you feeling, my love? Nigga, we made it. Okay, so Clarence, you guys, see up here. Put away now, baby, because you look different than when you went in. <laughs> New, like, they don't know what that is. You gotta pull her out. Oh, uh, not her wig came on. It be like that. Oh man, guys. But she so alright though. I'm alive. I'm here. I'm home. I need to eat. My baby, come here. You saved her. Easy. You saved my life. I did. You saved our baby. Yeah, how easy was stressed out. Mom literally hopped off the plane. Hopped off the plane. Mm -hmm. Sprinted. Full speed in the airport. By yeah. the board, the flight. Oh, wow. By Midway. The she got them all over. Oh, my God. What is all this, Mama? This is like, they're hooking me up to machines. Oh, I know that. Her. I hate that. When I was going to the hospital, okay. who put I'm that sticky stuff? Just don't get some We will definitely talk in the morning. I got it. I just feel a little hungry. Mm -hmm. and Tired. Like, um, weak and like sleepy. Mm hmm. But I think those are all natural feelings. And I walked out of the hospital by myself. They didn't give me a wheelchair. They didn't even give her a wheelchair. But we'll talk to you on the morning. <sighs> Super traumatizing to see. You know? And it was even, it was just scary because I was all alone and I, I knew that I was all that she had. So I couldn't. You know, yeah, I like that though. That's how I be trying to be. I feel like that is one thing that, you know, I kept telling her like even the day of, I was like, like after I got better, I was just like, oh, you were so strong for me because like, I didn't know it affected her as much as it did until my brother told me when she was telling my Shaking dad about up. it, she was like, um, she broke down. See, I commend easy though, cause that's normally how I be thinking a lot of the time when it comes to anything. I always try to have a clear headspace no matter what. Try not to react too crazy. I try to be level-headed. Try to think the best way I can, no matter what. Even if it is scary, for the sake of the situation. And then after that, I'm gonna just react, and I'm gonna probably cry or something, you know. So, cross the easy. Of course, she did it, and again, she was the only one there. So if it was, who knows? I kept telling her the whole time. I was like, I'm a superhero. You saved me. Mm -hmm. You didn't panic, you didn't just like, you know, you called the ambulance, which is always good if you ever don't know what to do. <laughs> what to do? Call, you know. This just makes me think too, like, that we should definitely get trained in CPR because you just never know when you'll need it. It was True. a crazy situation. I'm just so, it really just makes me feel so grateful. Like, I'm just grateful that I'm alive. I'm grateful that it wasn't anything too, too serious. Deep. And it was mm -hmm. all because of, it was a mix, but the, what the ER doctor said is that it was a mix between the fact that like, I didn't really eat much that day. And then I got my surgery, lost some blood, um, mm. and then I was on those like medications, medications like, quite a bit of, of medication. The suggested amount, but on an empty stomach, and then I was in the car for like three hours. That's the thing too, y'all. Be careful when you when you take medicine. Always put something on your stomach. Always. Because always. I live Literally. far from like the dentist, and then my mom had to drive here, then we had to drive to the airport, then back here. So they said being in the car for that long like the blood wasn't circulating properly in my body so when i stood up it all mm. rushed down to my legs which is why i kept passing out you just it makes mm. no sense. i wish i could do everything to do i wish i wouldn't try to pick you up or have you stand up like you know i just felt bad because it was like damn maybe if i didn't have her stand up she, she would have passed out that many times the house and just knocked out and went to sleep you know what i'm saying but i just mm -hmm. was like I don't know though, baby, because I was literally starting to pass. She out probably was gonna faint regardless. As soon as I see yeah. it, I don't really think it was anything that you know you did wrong. It was just that like I needed. To yeah, eat. I think she would faint regardless because she didn't eat anything. There was not one ounce of weakness in the moment. I just wanted to be a superhero and just make sure you're good. Superman. That was traumatizing. <sighs> Made it I can imagine. Oh, God. I'm just 
totally different way. Literally. Literally. Like I didn't hit my head too hard and stuff. Like I did hit my head on the wall, but like, but we do have to talk about once she was conscious, the first thing she says is, go get the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Creator. Why were you worried? That's the big question. Why did you want Creator. To I, that's I'm that creator usually that instinct. person. You know what I'm saying? But in that moment, I didn't give a fuck about a camera. I didn't care about nothing but her. You because know what I'm saying? Because I feel like by the time I was... So the ambulance were already on their way when yeah. I said it. Oh. And by the time I was like, the ambulance were on their way, and they had already instructed her to like lay me down on my side and like stuff. Once I laid down like that, I felt so much better that I was like, I'm gonna be okay. Like I didn't know what was happening, but I didn't feel like I was dying at that point. Oh my god! Even right. though it did cross my mind when I was in the ambulance, I was like, Oh my god, I hope I don't die. Like I'm not ready to die. They did not but, want me to ride back there with you either. I was annoyed, and I almost did, but I had forgot a charger. But yeah, I just in my head, I was just like, well, okay. I mean, it's happening anyway, so might as well record. <laughs> yeah, I didn't yeah, think right, that right. was like in harm's way when I said that, you know? Because that's not like the first thing that would come on in my mind if I yeah. thought like I was, you know, die. Yeah, really about to die. Yeah. I felt so much better. Do it for the, do it for the vlog. Please, record me. No, but, <laughs> and I, you know, it's just like, whatever. Yeah. Like, so, so the music, yeah, I don't, it's everything. just like such a part of our lives yeah. that it's just, that too. It just came kind of like naturally. It just sounds so crazy. That it just too. came naturally to be like, we got to document. This. It's almost like journaling, yeah. you know, for the Neasy Gang. We journal for y'all. Yeah, I gotta know what's happening. So and if anything, right now, yeah, y'all had to know what was happening. If anything, I mean, they pretty much done talking. If anything, though, she didn't record much. Uh oh, my camera's about to die. Uh, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to talk about this in another video. Let me know you guys thoughts and opinions on this video. Scary as heck. Oh my god, he's about to die on me. I'm gonna cut you guys with a nice.